Jan, we are here in lovely Bellevue, Washington, uh, the jewel of the Northeast. Yes. Um, why are we here today? We are here because we've been graciously invited. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna fold my leg. I'm gonna sit crisscross yes, applesauce. Just, you know, just realize it was man spreading too much. That's fine. Uh, graciously invited by Valve to mm -hmm. check out the Steam Deck. They call it the Deck. They just call it Deck. They were just calling it Deck. <coughs> I'm sure <laughs> the word Steam gets said yeah. way too often at the office. Um, yeah, it was a really nice visit. We flew up for the day. We've been here for a couple hours. We just got, got a couple hours of the, the test device. Brand new. They said it got here like yesterday. Yes. Um, a little, a few little hiccups here and there, but overall I am super impressed. Yes, I yes. think for the price, and I was telling it to the people in, at, at Valve, like I, I you, people know about my monitor and my, my, I play a lot of games on my PC. I, have a, I spend a lot of money on it. For the price that they're selling this thing at and the functionality it has, uh, I think it's it's not a miracle. I mean, it ta games take a little time to load. It is a yeah. PC in that sense, but uh, everything that I tried to do for the limitations of having it all in one big, um, one little thing that you're holding, uh, I am just super impressed. It's it's hesitate to say that game changer. It is still you're playing PC games, but yeah. the functionality of it, everything that you can play. Um, Hook up a mouse and keyboard if you want to. You can video out to a monitor. It's a neat little device. Yeah. Um, we should mention the unit we were playing around with today is not final. Mm -hmm. It's still being iterated on. Yep. Uh, but for what it's worth, dude, it was it was pretty sweet. And it's I know you, it, you hazard to say game changer, but yeah. I I will say game changer because yeah. I mean I play I play the Switch an obscene amount. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like I out of all the consoles and PCs. I think I spend the most time on my Switch because I can play it in that. Yeah. Right. Uh, but we did a, like a little comparison speed test about with with Hades specifically, and I was a little worried that the Steam Deck would lag behind the Switch because I had to load into Steam OS or whatever, had like mm -hmm. DirectX or whatever. But then it wound up eclipsing it immediately as yeah. it fired into the actual game, and like the screen, the screen looks really good. I know, um, I know there's like a lot of worries about font size and readability. Yeah. Um, with with some of like the numbers popping off in Hades, yeah. it, it, I would have liked it for for it to be a little bit bigger, but we fired up Control and we were looking at the subtitles in there and even at the smallest default size, yeah. it's completely readable. It's readable for the, for the purposes of being in front of your face if you're holding it like this. It's, it, I had no problems with anything. I think Disco Elysium had some of the smaller text because that's yeah. a very text heavy game. Yeah. Uh, that might not be my most favorite one to play today. I'd rather do that in front of a PC probably, but... Um, the other, I mean, but but for me personally, like yeah. I've been waiting for that game to come out on the Switch, yeah. so I can just treat it like a book and just sit down and like peruse through it. Yeah. But you know, with the Steam Deck slowly approaching, yeah. I I think I might just wait. I think it's good. I think it's um th most of the games that we ran were really impressive. Doom ran fantastically yes. well. Yes. Uh, Doom runs great on everything, so it's not a big surprise. I think the worst performing one was probably Control on the default resolutions. Yes. Um, and you load up that, that's very, it was pretty chunky uh, just by default. What you can do on a Steam Deck, which is not an option on a lot of other things, you can change the resolution yeah. to what you want in the available in the settings. It maxes out to about 1200 times uh, X800. That's the most, but you can put it down. I flipped it down to 640 by 480 yeah. uh, as a as a test. You, you also put a, some, I think it was Hades in windowed mode. Yeah, you can run it in windowed mode if you want to. Uh, it doesn't, it's not ideal because it'll just shrink the, the screen to what you're looking yeah. at. But uh, if you do need a FPS boost in something like control, you can actually turn down. I turned the quality down to low. Yeah. Uh, I turned the resolution down and it started playing a lot better than it did by default. Um, I mean, 12, 1200 by 800 things should be, uh, controls are very, uh, you know, that game didn't really run on the PS4 very well. So that's a real kind of uh, acid test uh, for it. So I, I'm, I'm not expecting everything to be magically 120 frames a second, but uh, pretty much everything that we tried looked really good. The screen was beautiful. Um, yeah, we, we checked out both models. We did. The one uh, with etched the anti glass. The etched yeah. glass for the anti glare. Uh, we did a very, <laughs> yeah, not the best test where yeah. we shined like a phone light on it, mm -hmm. but for the most part, uh, I think if you're playing maybe in, in, in a park like we're at, yeah, uh, you'd be fine. Yeah, the only thing is battery life is probably going to be. Uh, the, I think we were on there for about an hour and a half, 
straight. Yeah. It got to about, I want to say like 30% battery was left at that time. So you're going to be, want to be near a charger, but for a plane or something where you have uh, USB-C available to you, which is probably pretty, con not right here, unless I missed something. Oh, there's a plug right there. Oh, oh that's good. That blade uh, of grass. Yeah, that's great. Um, so battery life does drain pretty quick. Uh, yeah. But that's, you know, the price of having a high performance machine. Yeah. It's pretty high performance. I mean, for speaking for, uh, of high performance, there's, there's not supposed to be any differences between playing with it powered uh, like hardwired plugged in yeah. versus like just running off the battery. That's what they say. Uh, there's no like, I didn't get to the point of asking about a power saver mode when it's on low batteries. You probably just want to charge it at that point. Yeah. It's probably not going to be a great experience when it's really running low. But um, yeah, it was just like, I was I was pretty, really impressed. I mean, there were some caveats on the hardware and the software. I did sure. uh, some loading problems with Doom and things like that. Um, but it's it's still a work in progress, and I think they'll they'll probably they have a lot of time before shipping. So yeah, um, it, the unit feels a lot lighter also than I I was led to believe. It does feel comfortable though. Yeah, um, yeah. The button layout, like I, I thought I'd feel cramped at first, yeah. but then I quickly got used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, there weren't that many opportunities to test out like the touch pads yeah. with, with stuff today it, at least. It was interesting. We couldn't uh, install just random stuff. I didn't really ask. I should have uh, tried to install some random stuff from Steam, but. Um, the trackpad stuff I'm not as sold on. I know that the Steam controller was big trackpad. I, I've never, we played a little Doom, um, and I haven't played Doom on a controller before, so I still get kind of getting used to it, which explains why I died so much if you wanna. I'm explaining away why I was doing so poorly, but I did have a few power shots and some kills and some chainsaws and stuff. Um, hi puppy. Um, yeah, it was uh, the trackpad stuff, they also have motion controls, which is really interesting. Yes. Like you can aim, v like the old, Oh, Breath of the Wild kind of. I like the, on a Switch. Like on a Switch, you can do yeah. that. I've never found that to be a super compelling way to play games, but. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. A, there's an interesting subset of people that yeah. swear. Swear by. Like, there's pro Splatoon 2 people yeah. that swear on the gyros. What was that launch game for PS3 that had the glaive that you'd throw out and control with the, uh, the motion controller? I don't know. That kind of stuff always drives me crazy, but it, as a controller based thing, ignoring the trackpads, I think it felt really good. Yeah. Um, you can turn off the trackpads input uh, in the settings. You can turn off the um, paddles and the, the paddles. And there are so there are paddles in the back if you want to use those. I turn I actually removed them from my Xbox Elite controller because I can never get used to hitting them. You can disable those if you want to, so there's no like missed inputs. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I can't think of a, a bad thing that I had. To, I, there are a few quibbles here and there, but right. um, it's just a really things look great it's uh the frame rate was only a problem on control everything else is running super super nice and even control we could uh, adjust for yeah the fact that you can adjust settings in the game and resolution and things like that to a degree you can't go crazy mm -hmm. with it but turn on um, v-sync on and turn off turn on v-sync on and off and everything like that it, it does has a lot it's all the customizability of of a, of a pc and they were very very much they are confident they're not like talking themselves up but they're confident like they're this is a pc you yeah. can do what you want to on it. it oh, I mean, speaking about it being a PC, like we, one of the last things we checked out today is like it being hooked up to a monitor mm -hmm. and pretty much functioning as like you're browsing Netflix, yep. you are uh, playing a, something in VLC, you're coding something, and you're making something in Blender, and yep. like the whole time it was running. It's it's it a, was running fine. Yeah, it's a Linux desktop, which I'm not super familiar with, but it's a sure. pretty Windows UI kind of shell to it. I, I guess Proton, or I'm not sure what the Linux branch is that they yeah. use, but um, things just run. And yeah. you have all the, I was asking them pretty, and I asked them one time, like, hey, can you do like command line arguments on here? Like as a joke kind of thing. Like, yeah, you can totally can't, don't worry about yeah. it. It's all yeah. in Steam. They're very clear, like we didn't want to make this a, a Steam branch. This is not a different kind of Steam. This is just Steam. Uh, you can do anything you can do on Steam. Uh, the overlay works. Um, Sideload stuff if you want to. It's it's just a, a little yeah, tiny. Yeah, and, and that was something they didn't shy. Yeah, they're just happy. We're shy to about it all. You I asked them about Discord. And asked like, them about Discord, like installing magic. Yeah, was, yeah, we, we're yeah, working. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which, which um, is wild. Just for the price point too, that thing with a mouse and keyboard, Bluetooth hooked up, that's a nice little PC just for like taking on the road if you want, don't want to bring a laptop along. Yeah. Um, Honestly, like that's why I say it, it could be a game changer because it, it introduces people yeah. to not only like the Steam ecosystem, but like a PC light. Yeah. Well, not even PC light experience. It, it's no. like comparable to like a, a like a high high end gaming laptop. Yeah. It's um and I'm really impressed by the price point too. Even for the cheapest one, 64 gigs. Yeah. Putting a micro SD in there, we we fiddled around with that too. I was I was kind of joking around. <laughs> what happens when I pop out the micro SD in the middle of a game? Like, oh, you should try it. And see what happens. Oh, just it just boots you back to Steam. I was I was not trying to break the thing. 
Yeah. But I was I was not trying to needle them either about dumb questions, but they had all the answers on tap. They were thinking about everything that I could think of as a PC gamer. Yeah. Like how would I? How, what would happen if I did this and this and this? They had everything thought of. And for what it's worth, like someone that like hasn't spent too much time in like a Steam PC ecosystem, like I've pretty much only messed around with consoles. Like it's it's also dummy friendly. Yeah. You know. Like I mean, it, it kicks you out to a s similar yeah. screen that's like. You're not, it's very yeah. similar to like a switch layout or like you're not getting b sods you're not getting no. uh, any kind of i didn't see a single bad crash or anything like that no something's hung on a black screen but it's you know early days yet and i'm sure they'll figure it all out yeah um yeah we it's they are definitely talking with it seems like they're definitely talking with developers for future games to be i mean it doesn't need to be optimized for the steam deck but they it sounds like they are talking with people about making sure that they take that into account when they make games or, or do updates to the games um which is really important. Oh, yeah. hi, puppy. Um, oh, he's a little cloud. Look at him. He's a oh, oh, look at oh. come over here, buddy. I got to tell you about Steam Deck. Um, so yeah, I was I was just super impressed. I was yeah. I, I was uh, expecting to be impressed because I everything that I've seen so far from them about the Steam Deck has been kind of up my alley. Uh, right. Like I was telling, I have a very nice PC at home, but I am definitely do. Thinking, I've heard. I am definitely thinking about getting uh, one of these for for traveling and things like that. Yeah. Um, I'll get oh, battery life. dog over there. Oh, is he coming by? Oh, he's a tiny guy. He's got oh, he's a little cloud. They're all little clouds to me. A little uh, bundles of joy. I think the one thing we haven't talked about yet is, I mean, you mentioned it with like the Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, but we also hooked up two PS5 yep. controllers and we we're playing a fighting game. And as far as like latency with like the button inputs, it felt fine. I, it felt fine. Yeah. You know, I'm not a fighting scientist, Neither so I. I can't 100% say whether or not it was any type of latency but it felt good it felt it felt really good I, I, I'm also not a fighting game guy so I can't really speak to it too much in terms of input delay and everything like that yeah. I'm sure I'm sure uh, other websites will be able to break down the input lag and everything like that for Bluetooth but um, it all seemed to work really well I, I've never held a ps5 controller before today so yeah I was like okay it works yeah. I mean they are definitely seem like they're taking everything into account and uh, it just seemed like they're really seem really enthusiastic about putting this out which as a PC person you kind of want We've all seen weirdo Kickstarters for totally. like portable PC gaming device. It all works. I think they really did it. Yeah, I think they really did it. It, it feels good. It, we, we're playing it off, uh, just running on the battery. The only thing that got kind of hot was like the the little vent exhaust vent. Yeah, the exhaust vent. It's the not, screen just yep. like a little bit. And I mean, you can play some of this stuff with a touch screen, but yeah. I mean, like you have the touch pads, you have the buttons. I asked about Joy-Con drift mm -hmm. or something similar, like if that's a worry, and they were saying that the the pieces inside are supposed to replicate like a first party controller. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's built to last, but using anything for an extended yeah. period of time is going to be wear and tear. Um, we didn't get into like whether or not it'd be easy to replace the SSD. Yeah. On the inside. Um, Still a lot of questions up in the air. Still it's a lot of questions up in the air. They definitely were playing some things close to their best. Like, no, we didn't get to ask them about future plans, but I have a feeling this is going to be kind of a yearly thing with a, a refresh of, I don't know this for sure, but it sounds like the kind of thing that they have the ability to just, you know, uh, make it a refresh, upgrade these specs when needed. Yeah. But that thing at running at 1280 by 1200 by 800, it should play most games for a while on the hardware that it has. Yeah. Um, even the cheap version, I think, is going to be a good deal for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, expandable, portable. Um, I was just really impressed. Yeah, honestly, like I, I could I could see these things like blowing up at somewhere like Evo. Yeah, right. Yep. Like you just plug it because you can plug in a USB hub too, and yep. like just plug direct in like a a, direct to a monitor. Like these things at tourneys could be fantastic. Traveling, we've mentioned a bunch. Yep. Um, maybe even demoing games yeah. for future developers hey. too. I mean, I, I have, when I was at Obsidian, we used to travel with a big Dell SPS with two video cards in it. Yeah. Uh, that thing was weighed like 20 pounds. I had like half an hour battery life, yeah. but uh, here it just feels like it kind of just works. Yeah. Um, you also played like a little bit of multiplayer with one of the, the Steam devs. Yep, it works totally fine online. Yeah. Uh, you can be on Wi-Fi and playing with somebody on a, a actual PC. Yeah. As I keep on saying, it is a PC, it works. It's um, a PC, it works. What more can you ask for, Jam? I don't know, Rory. Uh, I I can wait till December to see one. Uh, they did say we'll probably have a little bit more opportunity to do some stuff with it before yeah. it launches, which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, they're going to um, send more units out to like actual developers to yep. see what they can muck around with, and then eventually uh, folks in press. Uh, 
but overall like I you know I was already pretty excited to see it in general but like yeah. actually seeing and, and, and touching it and, and using it dang it, yeah it, it works it which works is, which yeah. is the thing it works it works I am uh, I am I'm not shell-shocked like I, got, I kind of expected it to be good it is good yeah it yeah. is really good I mean, like, and then I'm just thinking about the Steam ecosystem where games constantly go on sale. Yep. Or you can throw, and, and like, you know, they're definitely not shy about, you can install whatever. Yeah. So, like, it could be your weird anti-itch.io machine. I didn't hear them say that explicitly. We didn't ask that question, but yeah. I have a feeling we should go back. Yeah, let's just, let's just go call, call yeah. the people and say, hey, hey anti? Yeah. It can uh, do it. <laughs> That's on the box. Hint I? It, it can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> uh, and we, we compared it. it. It's a little bit bigger than a Switch. Uh, I brought, we did a size comparison with like a Game Boy Advance, a Vita, a Game Gear, and a Switch. And it's, it's bigger, but at the same time, it still feels like good in your yeah. hands. I was worried about the heft, the weight of it. It's probably not something you want to have in lying in bed above your head for too long. Yeah. But that's true of the Switch as well. Um, it's just a nice, tight little device. It was yeah. really, really just kind of, it all felt really good. Yeah. Uh, the mouth feel. I did not get to taste mm. it. That was the one thing I-, I No cartridges no to cartridge. taste. There's a micro SD slot, but- Yeah, um, you I know how those I, taste. I, yeah, I already yeah. know they taste good. Uh, so. I think like the old last thing is like, there's a USB-C port yep. on the top and then a headphone jack. Yeah. Uh, and then on the bottom, it's just the SD card slot. I did not get the pairing to work with my Bluetooth headphones. I'm sure that's just a bug. Yeah. Uh, it just wouldn't quite sync, but everything else was synced there anyway, so I'm sure it's just uh, something where they have to yeah, get. Yeah, there's a million know, Bluetooth devices yeah, going on. Oh, yeah. There. It's like being at, you know, where was I at the other day? We're at, like, I was on, like, in, in the airport. Like, I don't know, there's a million Bluetooth devices here, but they're all they're working okay. So I'm sure that I'll, I feel confident that they will, it will be a pretty successful launch. And I have a yeah. feeling any bugs that we saw here today will probably be, I mean, like anything portable that you do or any kind of new thing, you run down the top 100 games and make sure they all work. So that kind of stuff, I, I have a feeling that they'll iron it all out. But even now, if I took that thing home, I have a feeling it would run really well for the things I want to do with it. Yeah, um, it's not going to replace a top-end gaming PC if you got one at home. But uh, for people who don't have one or like are looking for something to play top-shelf PC games, like I said, it, it control and things like that that are uh, control is kind of a game that does require a lot of high top. top uh, what's a weird word for it? You know, buffer at the top. It's it's a high sh high ceiling game in terms of you need a lot of power there. But like I said, Doom looked as good as it ran better. Doom ran better on that first. Uh, I played the Doom Ancient Gods first level, the big one yeah. with the uh, outside. Um, you're outside of the uh, oil rig. It ran better than it did on my 1080 Ti by default. Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I would say. I, I mean, I checked out the uh, original Doom on the Switch, and that leaves a little bit more to be desired. Yeah. Uh, you know, Switch is an underpowered console, and I don't mean to like draw too many comparisons to the Switch, but just because it's like you know similar form factor and everything, uh, I can't help yeah. but think that way. Yeah, uh, they're, yeah. they weren't shying away from it too. Like we brought up, so they're, they don't seem to be uh, worried about. They don't it seem as to, like it's, it's competition. Like different lanes. Yeah, yeah, it's like we're gonna do what we're gonna do, and it's gonna be this one thing that you have that can do a lot of different things, and it's it's very they're very open about that kind of stuff, and. The, it's very refreshing to talk to somebody who's just like, yeah, do whatever you want to, side load, I don't care. So, yeah, 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 that was actually really neat. Yeah. yeah, and it was it was just neat to see how how jazzed everyone yeah. there was and how proud they were. There was no question that I asked them that they were like, ooh, don't know about that one, you might not, they were just like, yeah, whatever. It's yeah. your machine, it's a PC, it'll do what you want. Yeah. Uh, which is, hey, it's gonna be a great Christmas present um, for me. It, it, From me, to me. To you, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we'll get an office one. Yeah, maybe. Like like, like the office switch is not my <laughs> switch, so let's make that happen. Well, uh, that's uh, our impressions of Steam Deck. More to come later on. Yeah, uh, my, I took a bunch of pictures. We'll, we'll post those up. Yep. Uh, depending on when this goes up, we might have regurgitated all of this on UPF. Or the Bombcast, but yeah, um, it's just, uh, it's a really impressive device. It's not going to change the world. It is a PC. Yeah. Um, but it is a very powerful little thing that I think is going to make a lot of people very happy. And it's a corgi. Corgi. Oh. We're going to, well, Rory, let's get out of here and let's this go meet it. this corgi. I'm going right. to go meet that corgi. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye That's our Stream Deck impressions. We'll talk to you later. Bye.